Hey everyone, it's Ashley from Career in STEM, and we've got Gunnar here. We're going to do a quick demonstration to show how to approach an unfamiliar animal and how to be safe in an emergency situation. So he's my pet, he knows me, but we're going to pretend that this is a potential emergency situation. So the first thing I want to do is of course keep my distance. If I don't know the animal, we don't want to get too close. The next thing I'm going to do is use my eyes to look around the situation. So in this example, maybe I just saw a snake slithering off into the pond. That would tell me that maybe this dog just got bit by a snake or something like that. The second thing, you'll notice my body position. I'm bending down a little bit. I'm trying to get closer to his level. And think about it, if you're this big, tall human looking down at an animal, it's very imposing and scary to an animal, especially if they're hurt. Another thing to know is animals can react very differently than they normally would when they're hurt or scared or injured. So we want to go very, very slow, very calm and quiet. So I'm going to just walk remaining down, kind of at his level, just let him smell me. He knows me, of course, but just getting close. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You'll notice that I was talking to him as I was approaching, staying down and just making sure he stays calm and comfortable. So to summarize, stay calm, stay quiet, get down on their level, and use your eyes to gain as much awareness as possible about the situation. The more you can learn about the situation before you approach the animal, the safer it's going to be. Yes, the safer it's going to be.